Good evening, Zodiac. It's the Soul Family Read. It's for the weekend of the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Um, coming to you from Cancun, Mexico. I hope you can see me all right. It's in the evening. Uh, just uh, about dusk here. And I hope it's quiet enough. I'm in a, in a kind of a residential neighborhood, I would say, here. A very nice one, very safe. Um, and uh, just sitting on the porch. I really like to be outside if I can. And a rainstorm threatening. And I love it. So hopefully we'll hear some thunder. Listen, I already tried this reading, and um, there's nothing wrong with the reading, but the water truck came and I like, parked there for, and ruined the reading. I said, I'm not uh, uh, giving up on this reading, so I'm going to go back to it. Um, and I said, <clears throat> it, when I was first doing this, uh, my focus is on the Mercury retrograde. A uh, lot of things coming to me in my mind, downloads, uploads, however you want to say it, uh, that's around my Carol when uh, Jupiter's there for me. And then I think because this is the soul family, we are saying like, you know, since that's a strong theme for me, maybe it is for you too. I mean, it's in, uh, by transit, uh, Charon's in uh, Aries right now, where it wreaks a lot of havoc typically. Um, <clears throat> so it could be at play. Um, the, this is um, a real relationship-oriented, uh, mental, uh, extra-mental uh, retrograde, I think, that's really going inward. And I said, you know, here we are uh, in and around relationships, love, spirituality, manifestation. This is us. And I said, like, I'm totally relating to this. You know, I fell a little over three weeks ago, and uh, I never really fallen like that and hit the floor. And, and it's still, like, I today was in so much pain, I could hardly function. Um, so it's been a theme for me uh, of dealing with also the Carol wound. Um, which is not uh, this general um, energy of this retrograde I feel is not negative at all it's generally very positive but I think you're going to see it most importantly you know always in the natal chart how it hits your natal chart uh, from 10 to 27 or 28 degrees of Libra where is that for you now coming into this energy of overall of healing um, is uh, the tower and um, I said for me, and I think this is, uh, having time to think about it, is so relevant. Um, there's something that I kind of have to let go of yet in the way, because like in the crossing position, I see this as the tower reversed. And that's usually uh, really delaying some, uh, something that needs to come down, uh, a foundation that's rotten and needs to come down, but somehow we're, go we're pulling extra hard to fight in the universe to kind of keep it from coming down. Um, and I think this is a mental pattern for me. And it's it's kind of part of the lack mentality, but it's taken to like a spiritual level. And it's, uh, I think for me, about uh, trusting in the universe. And you know, like I said before, I think I'm all, almost there. And this is also can be the energy of almost there. You know, needing a little more healing. Um, <clears throat> and it's just, uh, really being able to truly, for me, truly believe, uh, and this is totally a Mercury retrograde uh, thoughts and communication. Now, what's the advice? Take control of our mind. That's the advice from spirit. Take control of our minds. Um, absolute control. This is what I've been doing for years. I, I give myself a little credit, you know, for all the mistakes. Uh, taking control of our minds has really been what it's all about. Um, sometimes I, when I pray, I ask spirit, you know, I say, I, I believe this is uh, the, simply a matter of the sanctity of my own mind, the peace of my own mind, and I know I have right to this. It's like there's a very basic right to the sanctity of our own mind. It has nothing to do with anybody else. What they do or don't do or say or don't say, it's all about me. That Mercury retrograde believe, is so internal. That's the problem with people coming back in our lives with the Mercury retrograde. It's not about them. And this one, I think especially, it's about us. But it's about relationships, but it's about us relationships. How do we think about relationships? What are the programs running about relationships that Mercury Retrograde will bring? I've been getting some really amazing dreams. Disturbing, but I get it. I mean, they're really pointing right at that Carol wound for me, um, where I'm the most vulnerable. I feel like I'm getting help healing it. But make no mistake, this spirit is saying be strong, be mentally strong. Um, and be confident, mentally confident. Um, there could even be a, 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 
toughness about this, a mental toughness, you know. The king of uh, swords uh, is does not worry about, uh, not only does not worry about how you look in those pants, but it just doesn't worry about anything and kind of isn't afraid of anything and is certainly not afraid to speak up and speak their mind. And they just, it's the energy of not really, and I'm, a, I'm very emotional, a cancer moon, I'm a mess. But I get it for me, this is the energy of not letting our emotions overwhelm us. And maybe this is part of the healing here too. Um, so let's see, I haven't done the outcome yet. And I've been waiting, wow, the devil is the outcome. Well, I think if you take the devil, and I'm saving the bottom of the deck because it's good. We got this. If you take the devil in the tower, and it's the tower reverse, what we're trying to not allow to collapse, what we're trying to hold up is a toxic mental pattern, toxic mental pattern, okay? Uh, again, for me, it's kind of like, you know, I was talking to my best friend today. And he said he was watching something so horrific, he started crying. He said, you know, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to withdraw from social media. He said, I'm tired of being, it's, it, you know, you know I, and I get it, you know, being so emotional and being overwhelmed. And it's because, you know, you, you ask yourself, why, God, do you allow uh, such horror for, to man? And, you know, I think this is along the lines of this toxic pattern. This is big stuff, you know, this is uh, spiritual stuff. Uh, um, you know, when you go on the spiritual path, uh, you know, you come by a king here uh, on the spiritual path. You know, another way you could look at it, I don't want to go like old school religion on you, um, but this is being tested too uh, with the outcome being the devil. Is You're really being tested here strongly in, in the mind. And um, it could be even like temptations, uh, thought patterns as temptations. A little bit of this, after I said it's not about the X, not about the X, this could be the X. This could be the X. Somebody coming in, and well, what's happening is they're uh, lighting up this old energy, and you know it was toxic. This is toxic, but it's sexy. A lot of times it's sexy. And I think they're going to, if it is a person, because it will manifest this whole situation. I'm not, because I'm not. I got a person, I mean, uh, Selma Hayek did a flying backflip and landed. No, <laughs> you know, I'd say, I'm sorry, honey, this hurts you more than me. But uh uh, Selma, mm -mm. so I think this is pretty clear. It's a hell of a weekend. And I started the reading last time with the bottom of the deck, the page of Pentacles, end it today. And I said, like, I don't think it's gonna be a sexy weekend, it's not necessarily gonna be a busy weekend. Um, but I think it's gonna be kind of constructive. I get the feeling of kind of we're doing what we're doing. And so it's kind of, and also it's the energy of like, you're going to get there, you're in it to win it, you're in it for the long term, you get it, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is not going to lose and not going to fail, um, but is not in any kind of hurry either. So, you know, it's like maybe this is just what we're doing. I, yesterday's reading was finishing touches. I could say the same thing about this weekend. So no matter what we do, we're kind of grounded, um, we're being authentic and we're doing what we need to do in a very earth energy way um, to proceed forward and and we're still going into Mercury retrograde I think the heart of it's going to be when the Sun Mars and Mercury on the 10th you know so then you got the new moon so right there a few days earlier so this that kind of area right in there we're coming right up to it uh, is I think going to be what pops and after that this planet start re, you know, going up uh, stationing retrograde or stationing direct and moving around and but within a few weeks after that a month uh, I think a lot of this stuff's going to be over manifestations come whirling in if they haven't already and I think it's going to be like a like a slingshot effect Poof. and we're going to like all catapult kind of forward so be prepared <laughs> thank you guys